reports are that at about 23 hours 30, three men, one armed with a handgun and another with a crowbar, broke their way into the lot 157 Maibikiri South Blackbush Pole, the home of Indrawati Danrad. The 44-year-old mother of one, who lives with her 11-year-old son, recalls the horrifying experience. I hear somebody, something walk on the zinc, and when I raise up, I see a person peep me out the window, peep me from out to in the house. And when me holler out for thief, they say, don't holler for thief. They bust the window there and then go in. When they go in, me shout back, they say, where I holler that uh, you are nobody around here, not talk. That um, don't holler, shut your F and S mouth with the money, and we use the jewel. We tell them that I don't have money and I don't have jewel, and whatever I may get, my barn, my chain, my earring. Some, some of my son find jewels, some of my earring, my gift them. One of the men took her cutlass and armed himself with it. The men also took her cellular phone before leaving. One of the bandits stood, stood guard downstairs while the other two ransacked the house and found about $60,000. According to Dan Raj, who cultivates a three acre plot of rice, the money was to purchase seed paddy and to pay workers. According to Dan Raj, the entire ordeal lasted close to two hours, during which time she was beaten. Let me hit me on my neck eh, with a cool bar. I hit me on my hand here, then gets me like about four on my back. I want to be she was taken into the kitchen downstairs where she was told to keep the lights off. And they get a torch light with a torch right wrong. And then I find nothing. So they say, they go carry my bag and go kill me. So I say, uh, our body, they carry my bag and go kill me. So I get money, me get to me and my son alone I live. So you never know where I'm there. So what grocery are you want? I full of my bag and carry on. And they said, then I want grocery. So then they ask me, how old is me? Me tell him, 15. The men made good their escape. After they did, Dan Raj and her son left home to make a report to the police. However, halfway there, five police officers were on the way to meet her. The matter is being investigated. For the Evening News, Andrew Carmichael.